This is Dr. Henderson. In this video, we're going to be discussing the hydrodistension or kind of blowing up or stretching out the bladder. This is most commonly done with my patients who have interstitial cystitis. And if you're to this point, we've kind of gone through all the conservative medical therapy. If you haven't seen it yet in my office, we have an awesome diagram that talks about all the various different treatment options. And most of my patients, when they need this hydrodistension or especially um, when they have this hydrodistension or, or the stretching out of the bladder, and they have success with it are ones that have that tight crampy muscle that's always kind of telling them that they need to go to the bathroom it hurts there's some pain it's very similar the surgery to something like having a sore neck muscle and how do you help that sore neck muscle you stretch it you rub it you do a massage different things like that to resolve the pain or relieve the pain and discomfort of that muscle well your bladder is just one big muscle and so the only way we've ever found that we can stretch it out is i can't put my hands down inside there and do anything and so we take you to the operating room and we actually fill up your bladder bigger than it's ever been filled up before that's why we have to put you to sleep it's still a same day procedure it's very effective for those patients that it works on and a lot of patients end up getting this done once a year or once every other year afterwards kind of things to look for you can have some burning you can have some bleeding you can have some pain for the next one to three days after the procedure but once that kind of resolves if you're going to have success with this procedure you'll notice that your symptoms of your interstitial cystitis have calmed down dramatically by day four, day five. None of these procedures are perfect. They're not meant to cure interstitial cystitis. They're just meant to take the edge off. And so there's not a lot of complications from this. The only big complication that I still have never seen is uh, if somebody put too much pressure on your bladder, they literally could rupture your bladder and have to close it. But we all use kind of pressure monitor gauges and things in the operating room so that you don't have to worry about that complication happening. So there's very few complications from this procedure. Either it works or it doesn't, but if you haven't tried it, it's a great procedure and a good therapy that urologists have been doing for a very long time for patients with interstitial cystitis. Talk more um, before the procedure and answer any questions that you might have. Thanks.